Uh, hi, uh, this time I'm going to tie a buzzer, um, basically for the summer because it keeps relatively high up in the surface so when the um, fish are feeding up in the top of, top layers of the water. Uh, thread I'm going to be using is a uni thread 8 in a fire orange. Again I'm going to be using the um, olive hairs ear dubbing. Going to be using some green uh, mallard and some yellow spam flex. Okay, so I start your thread at the top and wind down. Trim away the excess. And tighten your spam flex. Now obviously this is a buzzer and you don't want a really big thick body on it. Well I don't anyway for this fly. Obviously you know personal people have different preferences on what they like to tie. So I dub this on quite thinly. that on, start at the back and wind forward. Wind it forward, sorry about that. I always get a phone call in the middle of doing something. Okay, and shape to there, take your span flex and wind it up as a rib. Get to this point and tie it off. I think you can see there's a tiny little bit of dubbing on there, but it doesn't matter. Because the whole fly is made from dubbing in the first place. And trim away your excess. Right, what I like to do at this point, take my Velcro and just pull out a couple of the fibres. That'll do me nicely. From here, again I take the yellow spam flex. As you can see there on there, the spam flex is split, so I just cut it a little bit further down. And tie it into this side. If I can catch it in there. There we go. Okay, I'll cut that in half. I'll tie another length on the other side. Right again. Now what you're going to do, take some more of your olive hairs here. This doesn't have to be as sparse as the body, you can just stick it on there. Again, start from the back and wind it forward. Right, from this point, I'm going to take your mallard. What I've done here, as you can see, I pulled away this, the um, sides and I've just left the um, front portion of the feather, the tip. I'm going to lie this underneath the fly. And pull it underneath. Okay, with your fingers. 
these strands where you want them. That's fine by me, I'm happy with that. And come down and trim away your excess. Obviously you try not to cut your thread but uh, I'm afraid sometimes mistakes do happen and you do cut your thread. Okay, grab your two bits of pan flex and pull them forward. Pull the thread a bit. Sometimes when you're working with span flex, I'm afraid it can be a little bit tricky, so you've just got to bear with it. There we go, pull it tightly. And tie those in. As you can see on that side, it's a little bit low, so I just have to backtrack and pull it up. There we go, it's better. It's making a nicer cheek now. The great thing is about span flex as well is when you pull it, it stretches nicely, trim it off that side, leaving no excess on the front of the fly and again, it's like the same on the other side, just pull it tight and trim. Okay at this point, all you'd have to do is just whip finish. One two, three, and there you have it, the olive shaggy buzzer.